everybody. Welcome again. We appreciate you stopping by and uh, hope you're painting along with us. And we're doing a limited palette, but if you're not, well, just sit back and relax and enjoy. And what I mean by limited palette, we're mixing the colors instead of putting a lot of them out. Normally I use about eight different uh, colors. Today we've got four colors in white. Everything in the world is made up of those colors. And as you can see on the palette, you can mix about any color you want. Well, you can mix any color you want with those four colors. So anyhow, I hope it helps you to mix your colors. And uh, also, hope hope it helps you to uh, enjoy your painting. The main thing, I think, is to enjoy it. Now, uh, I was talking uh, last week about... Uh, drawing things. I love to draw. Uh, I'm from old school, so I learned to draw before I could paint. So I can draw uh, about anything. And But you can do it with a brush, too. And the fun with this type of a painting, which we call it wet on wet, uh, is that you create it as you go. In other words, you actually draw it with a brush instead of using a pencil to do your sketch with. But either way that uh, you know works good for you, I use that way because the main thing is to enjoy it. And we really enjoy it. Now last uh, week we left you, we actually was putting a few highlights in here, uh, maybe a bunch of flowers and stuff. I'm gonna put some more greenery in there. And over on this side now, we haven't done a whole lot of extra work. So we need to come over there maybe and put a few highlights up in that area. In order to do that, I'm gonna get a little bit bigger brush, and the reason I'm gonna do that is uh, simple, because I can move more color around with a bigger brush. I'm gonna try to clean it out as well as I can. Now, first of all, though, I'm gonna mix some color. I am gonna grab my little mixing. This color is beautiful. but it may be a little too light for that. So I'm gonna grab this color right above it. This is the color I want to use first. Now all of these colors are mixed with the colors that are on the palette. Now this color, of course, is blue and yellow. Now you can put a little white in there. It tones it down frost it a little bit, but white is a good color. I'm gonna go in here and just pick up some of this color on this big old brush. Just fill it up really good. Then I'm gonna to go to this side of the canvas. Now, first of all, I've got some trees back in here. I'm gonna add just a touch. I don't want much on them. And that's the perfect color for it. Now at the bottom, I'm coming in and actually putting the lay of the mountainside in. And, and you got to keep a lot of color on your brush because the color under it picks up. And if you notice, when you go back, you'll, you'll have some of that, whatever color is under it. In this case, it's a, it's a dark brown. But all these colors now are mixed. Every color that's on the painting is mixed with the four colors, the four basic colors. So if you want to start painting, just get your four colors. And later on, you can buy about any color in the tube, and which I like to do because it makes your life a little easier because <laughs> you don't have to mix so much. You can just grab a tube up and put a little on your palette and go to work. But a limited palette is a lot of fun because it makes you, makes you actually create your own colors. 
I'm going to go over here. I just put just a little bit up in that tree. I, and a little bit along the top of the bank here. Now, I purposely left this a little dark right here because we're really going to highlight this area in a, in a little bit later. Now, we've got most of our uh, what I call base undercoat greens on there. A little bit back in this hill here, just a little bit. I'm going to leave that white in there because I like that sort of the mist or the fog or something coming down out of the mountains. Now I'm going to clean my brush out a little bit. Now I'm going to pick up my little flat here. I like the interest that that's created there. But I think I want something over here, maybe... We could put another little house if you wanted to. Let's do that. Let's put something right in here. Maybe a... Could be the smokehouse or it could be a neighboring house. I'm not sure. Now what color do we want that house? I don't know. What? Now I've got so much color on that, I'm going to try to wipe some of it off. Now, this front of the house is should be lighter. And what I'm really doing here, I'm actually just trying to scrape a little color off. Now, I might not be able to get it as white as I want it with this brush. So, let me pick up my palette now. I should be able to get it a little whiter with this. I think I'm just going to pull that over this way. Now I'm just building a little house here. <laughs> and I'm building it with the palette knife. Now 
That's pretty good. That looks sort of, sort of like a stucco house. Doesn't it? Now, I've got a little off-white here. I might need a little more than that. Let me see. Where can I mix it at? Here. Let's see how that looks. Pick up a little roll. Now I'm actually trying to get my, uh, which I, I haven't mentioned any of this to you this week, but perspective is really, really important when you're, uh, especially when you're uh, building, uh, putting buildings on your painting. And what I'm trying to do is get my perspective right, make it sort of fit on the hillside, in other words. This is probably a stucco house. Well, let me wipe that off. Need to get a little color here. Maybe that'll do it. That's perfect. Now I'm just actually just sort of raking the palette knife backward there. Let's see if we can get a little more of that color mixed. Something close to it. Yeah, perfect. Now, the roof on this house, let's make it a tile roof. You want to? Being that it's got a tin roof, this is a stucco house. So let's put a red tile roof on it. You want to? Let's see how this looks. Might need to orange that up just a little bit, but let's put this color on first. Now, I was talking about perspective. This area should be smaller than this area. This area back here is a lot smaller than this area. That gives us a perspective, make the house look like it's laying back and more realistic. So what we've got to do here now is basically just start right there. Come back. It's about right along there. I'm trying to get a little line there all along the edge. Sort of like that. This line has got to be at a, a good angle. Sort of like that.
Now I'm just sort of putting a little detail in there, but just real lightly. And then here I'm trying to just get a, a line for the roof line. Sort of like that. Now on the other side, one like that. Okay, basically, that's it. We, we'll probably come back and highlight it a little bit, a little bit later. But right now, I got to clean this off. Well, I tell you, we're gonna put doors and stuff in there. So let's grab my little door brush here. We've got a red door there. Let's put a brown door on this one. This house is maybe a little bit farther away. So let's put a door here. Let's put a little window in this one. Now, let's go on the side. You know what? We've got to have a chimney in this one, too. Back here, maybe this is a kitchen back here. We could put the... Uh, could put the... Uh, could put two chimneys on if we wanted to, couldn't we? Now the chimney on this one, I'm gonna make just a little bit. I'm gonna grab my small brush. This is my chimney brush. <laughs> Wipe him off real good. I got a lot more brushes over. I probably should start using them. Okay, in order to put a chimney on this one, I'm gonna use a little bit different color. That one's a brick one. This could be a brick one too. But I want, I want a little, let's put the chimney back here. And let's put one over here too. Okay. Now if you notice we just left the bottom of our little uh, adobe house uh, really rough, but we'll go back in and we'll highlight that. And I'm, I don't know if we'll put a porch on the front of this one or not. It's a little too dark for that. So let's lighten it up. I probably could do that with my knife better. I need to put a little shadow under that uh, eave. If I can hold it still enough, Sort of like that.
we've got a lot of detail to go, yeah. But right now, let's clean up the bottom of that uh, house a little bit, maybe with some highlights. Let's see. I don't have anything light enough, so let's mix a little something. Grab a little yellow. I think it's fun mixing up these colors, <coughs> although on most of our shows we just use straight colors right out of the tube. Now they're intermixed on the canvas, I mean, but we got a number of colors that we can go to and just actually <laughs> we don't have to do all this mixing. I'm going to put a little bush right there. Whap, whap. Can't see them very well. Do it with this. Oh yeah, see? Maybe a little bush or two along here. Look into that. Now I need to get back to my light color. Yeah. A little bit on that other side over there. I'm going to lighten it up just a little bit more. I want a little lighter than that. Now what you can do, grab a little of this. Right down here at the bottom. Mixed up a real light color. And you can add, actually add a little more white if you want to. But I want this to All right. Oops. What's that? Oh, how about that? We got all kinds of little houses in this one. I'm just adding a touch, a touch, a touch here and there of highlights. tell you, I, I like that so far. I'm going to mix just a touch lighter. I'm going to use all of that white. Touch more yellow.
Oops, let me wash that brush out a little bit. I've used it so much over that brown that it's got a lot of brown in it. Okay. Now I want some lighter trees, sort of like those up in this area. Okay, now I want to go add just a touch more my highlight here. In various spots. And especially right down at this area. Yeah. See, that gives you a little bit of another point of interest. In other words, the hillside's not totally level. It's got indentures in it. Now, this side's a lot lighter than the other, and I like that. But I'm going to add just a little teeny bit over there, and we're going to come back and work on our road some. We've got a couple of minutes, so I'm going to add a little bit of the highlights to the other side while we've got just a little bit of time left. Now, if you notice, over the period of days, we've created so much interest in here. We've got highlights everywhere. Now, we've got to do a little more work on our road. And put another point of interest or so in it, probably. Okay, we've got a minute left, so I want to go right back in this area. I might put a couple of highlights in those trees. Not much, but a little bit. And we start out, if you remember, with a real cold painting. <laughs> Now it's really warm. It really looks it looks like a summer summer day. Okay, we're gonna have to leave you for today. But come back and be with us next week. We'll try to finish this little painting up. So glad you could join us today. Call the number on the screen, let us know how you feel about it, if you want to order something. Thank you so very, very much. Goodbye and God bless. Thank you.